Hey, what is up everyone? I am Cora. Welcome to another Dead by Daylight video. And today we are going over the new survivor who goes by the name of Adam Francis. Now, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, I usually only play Jake Park. Uh, this character I might actually get involved with, uh, especially when it comes into the, the, the full game. As of right now, this is not full game. This is just public test build, which is only available on Steam, uh, which is PC. And they have said that they really did try and really did want console players to be able to access this early content with the public test build. But uh, as of right now, it's just not possible. And maybe in the future, you know, consoles might be receiving public test builds to be able to, I guess, test out the chapters before they officially release. All right, so a video is coming either tonight or tomorrow, uh, depending on how everything goes um, with the new killer, which is the spirit. And so yeah, that video is coming soon. So let's just jump in straight away to his perks here. So the perk I have equipped is Deliverance, uh, which we'll get, we will get into in a second, but let's start with Autodidact. So you start the trial with a negative 20% progression penalty for skill checks to heal survivors. But for every single successful skill check completed while healing a survivor, you receive a token for a max of three. Each token will grant you 20% or uh, plus 20%, so therefore you could stack plus 60% in the end. Uh, bonus progression for a successful skill check while healing survivors. I mean, it's kind of like a risk and a reward, I guess you could say. You kind of sacrifice negative 20 to make more XP out of the situation. So I mean, if that's the kind of player you are with healing, this perk is going to be really good for you. Deliverance is the one I personally find to be extremely overpowered. So after performing a safe hook rescue on another survivor, the perk will activate. Uh, you now have a 100% chance to unhook yourself during the escape attempt, and a successful deliverance from the hook triggers the broken status effect for 100 seconds, which means uh, if you if you get off a hook right away, you have to wait 100 seconds before you can have a safe hook rescue with another survivor to activate the perk once again and like i said it's extremely easy to get to uh, save a hook teammate in the first place and then you know if you find yourself in a situation where you're hooked you can easily just hop off and finally we have diversion which is an interesting one and I i'm probably going to try it out in the future which is standing within the killer terror radius while not in the chase for 45 seconds activates the perk once the perk is activated, press the active ability button while crouched and motionless to throw a pebble, creating a loud noise notification for the killer, which I assume will show up on the screen such as you know, like a failed skill check and stuff like that would show up, or a blown generator, or a finished generator. And once it has been used, it is deactivated. I'm pretty sure you can rinse and repeat. Use this one, but 45 seconds is a long time to be in the terror radius of a killer, uh, especially when you're not being chased by that killer. So those are all the perks that we currently have for our Adam Francis survivor. Um, he doesn't have that much customization to him right now. I think all you can change is just his trench coat, just the little like vest he's wearing underneath. Uh, that's about it. So we will hop in a game with Adam. We will test that deliverance perk. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Hopefully we get into a game with the new spirit killer. Alrighty, so this game is against the spirit, the new killer. We are playing as, you know, Adam Francis, of course, with the deliverance perk is what we are running. Uh, we don't have any other perk slots because uh, I'm not level like five with him or whatever. I don't think you can make any character progress in the public test server. I honestly don't think you can because I've played about three games altogether with this new survivor and I haven't made any progress. He's still level one. So I'm guessing you can only run one perk at a time. So Deliverance definitely seemed like the uh, the more probable one, the best one, because you know you get a, a f you know I get off the hook free card. Uh, sort. <laughs> All right, so we are playing on the Disturbed Ward as of course Adam Francis here, and we are going to try to save one of our teammates from a hook in order to activate the Deliverance perk to get off a hook so that's gonna be the point and the the whole goal of this game so if I'm playing like a complete idiot and and you guys think oh I'm doing all this wrong I'm not necessarily going for the escape for the win if that happens that's good but first of all I want to see how this killer plays as well as use this new deliverance perk and uh, I'm the worst player in the world 
and so is she. All right, the killer's right there, but we're going with it, boys. <laughs> All the way, let's go. All right, so one of our teammates is hit. Hopefully, I mean, usually I wouldn't say this, but hopefully he goes down. Hopefully he gets hooked and uh, I can snag him really quick. Hopefully this killer is not extremely sweaty, by the way, because if she's camping hooks, it's going to be impossible to use the deliverance perk, like, in general. The killer probably, she's probably not going to camp, considering we've already got, like, two two generators done within, like, two minutes of the, of the actual game. She's probably going to be a little bit on edge, because we're kind of, kind of ripping her up. All right, here we go. Let's cleanse this. I, I actually don't know what this does. But uh, we're, we're doing it for science. Hey, Adam Francis. Alrighty, so Athena is on the hook there. We'll slide around here. See what we can do. We'll try and help her off. Hopefully somebody like screws up a generator. Makes my job a whole lot easier. Alright, so we got, a, we got a safe unhook right here. We'll be able to get it. And so we will be able to use the, the perk right here. So... Uh, I'll see she doesn't have any heals All right, so I think yeah, she definitely saw me Alrighty, so this this isn't a problem necessarily Because uh little does she know I'm gonna hop off the hook in a second she leaves. <laughs> so we gotta do it before the guy behind us gets to us. So let's just go right now. Deliverance perk activated and we get on out of here. So there we go. Uh, there's the deliverance perk in action. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we can't use it for a hundred seconds. Which is fine because I don't think we will need to and pretty much if you get hooked twice uh, You're dead anyways, so yeah, that's pretty much the deliverance perk in a nutshell If you are able to save a teammate who's on a hook safely without you know being attacked at all by the killer uh, You will activate the perk and it lasts all game if you activate it. You don't have to it doesn't have like a cooldown and so with the perk You will you will be able to instantly have a 100% shot of getting off the hook when you get hooked so, I mean, it's kind of a win-win. You save teammates, and you get to escape from a hook, you know? Your boy is hopefully going to get out of here. Alrighty, so uh, this guy goes down here. We'll see where sh what happens with the... Alright, he's going on that hook. If she chases me, I gotta go. Yeah, she's coming. Yeah, we just gotta go. Sorry, my boy. Alrighty, everybody. That was Adam Francis, uh, a really, a really well-rounded survivor. And I mean, that perk deliverance that I showed you guys in this video, uh, absolutely crazy. It's definitely a really good perk to use. And I mean, as of right now, he's not, I guess, in the full release of the game, as you guys can see right here. He has more perk slots and stuff like that, but you are only able to use these three because of the public test build. Anyways though, if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and as always, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.